Good morning, Torque family. It is Tuesday and we're here for another workout, so I'm going to let you in on what we're doing, okay? So we have a warm-up of 20 jumping jacks. Then we have six ladder runs, pretending that we have at least 10 to 12 feet of an agility ladder where we'll do a burpee to start, run your ladder, finish with a burpee, run your ladder, do another burpee, so that you have six ladder runs and 12 burpees in. Then you go to 20 A skips. From there, we have six reaching lunges, three to each side, 20 torso rotations, six grass pickers, and 10 squats. Okay, so we're gonna start out with 20 jumping jacks, just like everybody knows how to do. And then we're gonna do a burpee ladder. So I'm gonna start out by doing a burpee. And then I'm gonna pretend I have an agility ladder in front of me, and I'm gonna go at least 10 or 12 feet, or at least 12 patterns back and forth. Burpee. I'm going to go back. From there, we're going to move into A skips. So it's a high knee, quick, quick up, little skip in between. From there, we're going to go into six reaching lunges, three to each side. So I'm going to lunge, I'm going to rotate, rotate, I'm going to reach back towards the up front knee, push back to stand, come back down, rotate, reach back and lean to, your, to the upright knee. After that, we're gonna go into just some torso rotations. So we're just gonna rotate back and forth for a total of 20, that's 10 to each side. Following that, we're gonna do six grass pickers. Touch three times, stand up. After that, I'm just gonna do 10 squats. After that, for our skills strength, so it's a four by eight set and rep scheme for dips and hammer curls, filling in our rest periods with some midline work. We do 30 seconds of work and then a 30 second rest. Your four by eight sets are dips. After you finish a set of eight, you do 30 seconds of Russian twists and rest for 30 seconds. Then we move on to eight repetitions of hammer curls, followed by 30 seconds of reverse hyperextensions with a 30 second rest. And then we repeat those two movements with our midline work in between. So to start, we're gonna do a set of eight repetitions of dips out of my chairs, in my rings if I have them. You can use one chair and put two hands on it. I'm gonna do 30 seconds of Russian twisting. When I finish that 30 seconds, I have a 30 second break. From there, I move into my dumbbell curls. I have eight repetitions of a hammer curl that's thumbs up. When I'm done with those eight repetitions, I'm gonna do reverse hyperextensions for 30 seconds. I'm gonna be on my belly, and I'm just gonna try and pick my feet and my legs up off the ground, squeeze my glutes together, activate my low back, and I got 30 seconds of that work followed by a 30 second rest. We'll repeat that for four sets, eight reps each movement. From there, we move on to a three five minute AMRAPs. We have 12 devil's press, then 30 line hops, 12 reverse lunges, 30 line hops, 12 push press, 30 line hops, 12 dumbbell push ups, 30 line hops, 12 dumbbell squats, 30 line hops. You have five minutes to do as many reps and rounds as possible. In between each five minute AMRAP is a two minute rest. We're gonna repeat this for three rounds. So devil's press is a nice wide setup. I'm grabbing my two dumbbells. I'm gonna pick them up off the ground and I'm gonna hip hinge and press overhead. Touch, hip hinge, overhead. I'm gonna set those down when I achieve 12 repetitions. Then I'm doing 30 line hops. And I'm gonna do six reverse lunges to each side. Push press, I have 12 repetitions here. Hang clean, dip, drive overhead. I have dumbbell push-ups, just right off my dumbbells, till I get to 12. From there, I do a goblet squat, dumbbell. Sprinter sit up, six to each side. That's the workout. You have three five minute sections. Probably only get through this once. <laughs> then you get a two minute break. We repeat it two more times for a total of three. 
and then you're out. Um, in that you can do all of this with a weighted backpack as well. So I just want to show some of those movements, okay? So if you don't have dumbbells during the curl, you can load up a backpack and hang on to the straps and you can still do a hammer curl without any dumbbells. You can also take your backpack over your head with that weight in it and you can do overhead backpack extensions. Now it's a little weird because the backpack drags back up and down your body, but you can still get some work done there. When it comes to the workout, you can still do a devil's press with your backpack. Just grab a hold of your, your straps, take that same stance, swing it into position, press overhead, swing it in position, press overhead, okay? Um, you can do reverse lunges by hanging onto your backpack here and do your reverse lunge. You can do your push press with your backpack, hanging on to the sides of it. Dip, drive, press overhead, dip, drive, press overhead. You can do push ups right off the floor. You can once again do your squats with your backpack up front or you can put it on your back and do your squats that way and your sit ups are just off the floor. So those are some alternatives to not having any weight in order to complete this workout. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you the next fitness session.